What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome back to this war of mine. We're exactly where we left off. I'm gonna go ahead and end the day and we'll have to decide what we're gonna do. We've got a bunch of coffee now. We have eight things of coffee, which is nice. Um, we could probably try trading some of that. We've also got four real cigarettes, which could be very, very appealing as, in terms of trade. I don't know what I'm gonna take with me. Um, but we're gonna have to figure that out. Let's see what's even open. So St. Mary's Church is only 9% explored, which means we can find a lot of stuff there if we're brave enough to go after it. Shelled School is where the rebels were, wasn't it? They might be willing to trade with us. Huge amounts of meds, weapons, parts, possible trade and danger. Ugh, I don't know. Could try and trade with the rebels, but that seems almost more dangerous than it's worth. And I remember this, occupied by armed thugs. I went there for food. Weapons and parts isn't something I really need at this point. Shelled cottage. Um, it's useful stuff there without meeting anyone. Huge amounts of weapons, some parts. The garage, can't get there due to fighting. Construction site, central square. Caution is advised. Huge amounts of weapons, some materials, some food. Decrepit squat. Some materials, lots of weapons, some parts. Man, I really, really need lots of lumber more than anything else. All right, we're gonna go back to St. Mary's Church. We're going with Katya again because I might need her bargaining skills. Zlata, I'm gonna have you guard this time and you're gonna sleep in the bed because they did the reverse of that last time. Okay, so you are going to bring Ugh, it's a valuable commodity. Okay, I'm gonna bring half of our coffee because she likes coffee. So I don't wanna take it all. I'll leave him that and we'll take two of the cigarettes because I'm trying to keep him happy. And if he's at least got cigarettes, then maybe that'll get the sadness to go away. The rest of it, I'm gonna keep. Um, I think I will take the crowbar just in case. Uh, I know there's a way out from that back area that could use the crowbar. And it might get us out faster. Um, and in a pinch, you can use the crowbar or the shovel as a weapon if you really have to. Alright, so let's start, as we always do in the church, by seeing what the priest has to trade. Hopefully something decent. All right, so I need lots and lots of components and lumber more than anything else right now, although some sugar wouldn't hurt either. The rest of this, it's a luxury and I don't need it right now. Uh, okay, so let's try trading these and these and see what all we can get for that. So I can get 12 components for four things of coffee and two decent cigarettes. And I need lots of components, so I'm gonna go ahead and say deal on that. And now my backpack is, okay, so we're good there. I wish I had the saw so I could just cut through here and go that way instead of going all the way around because it's that part that I don't like. this creeping around with that guy in there somewhere that I'm nervous about doing. Have to be quiet so that I don't get caught. And, you know, shot. Is really the critical part of that. Okay, I don't see the guy yet. Oh, yeah, I do. He's down below. Where's he gonna go? I mean, I guess I could go down that way. What's through here? Open it up. Let's take a look. Need to get some fresh air, he says. Great. 
nothing in here. Okay, go back through here. Hello, don't be afraid, I'm just looking around, he says. Well, okay, if you're sure. Again, very, very nervous. No, he's got a gun, I don't like it. Don't you shoot me. Uh, okay, so he is just looking around. He still makes me insanely nervous because I know he has a gun. But he is apparently just actually looking around. Can we get up there at all? Yes, we can. No, we can't because we don't have a saw. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Well, I feel a little, little better knowing that he's not, like, immediately hostile. He's not just going to pull out his gun and fire at me, which is nice. I still don't exactly feel safe because he has a gun. That makes me nervous. But I guess we'll have to make do with what we got. I think I already opened this up and got everything from here, didn't I? Sorry, no, open. I don't need to peek. Uh, yeah, I already got that. So pretty much the only stuff that was here at this point was back through that way. And I believe there was some lumber and parts. I don't know how much, but... That's what I'm going for. Oh yeah, and the broken teddy bear or whatever it was. Which maybe I can take and trade, I don't know. Okay, so this has more components, more lumber. This one has... Uh, that's a quality roll-up, isn't it? Oh, no, it's just a standard one, okay. Components, some more lumber. I guess we'll grab this. I probably need to upgrade my metal workshop if I want to get the saw. And a broken toy. Okay, we've got the crowbar now, so we could just break this open. I think I'm going to, because there's no reason to leave it closed. I may as well give myself an easy in or out. And there you go. Okay, now sadly, I don't have as much as I wish I did. Believe me, I wish I could. Okay. Is there anything you can trade me for basically a crappy cigarette and a broken toy? Okay, four things of lumber, I'll take it. That's fine. Now, I wish I had a little more stuff. Would be nice if I could, you know, get through, fill up all my backpack slots, but, uh, if that's what I have to deal with, then so be it. Let's get out of here. Ugh. I mean, I got a lot of components and I got a lot of lumber, so, I mean, that's... It was kind of the, the idea. Just would have liked to get a full backpack's worth. More lumber would have been better. Day 16. Made it without a single scratch. Hopefully they did too. We got raided last night. What about tonight? Night was calm. Brought some interesting things, good. Okay, what's everybody doing? He's hungry and tired, she's hungry, she's hungry and tired. So you go ahead and rest. You go ahead and rest. He's not sad anymore, that's nice. Um, I know you're hungry, but that's too bad. Um, do I have enough to build either one of those things? I know I wanted to upgrade the kitchen and I wanted to build the warming the, the, the little, like, furnace. Depending on whether or not I've got parts enough to do either of those things. Ugh, I'm three components short on the kitchen. 
Which probably means I don't have enough for the stove either, but we should find out. Stove. Nope. I am one component short on the stove. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> okay, so I can't make either one of those. Um... How am I doing on water? I still have 11 things of water, so I'm not too concerned about that. I want to try and save the rest of my components. My trap is still working on it, so I don't have anything there. What else do we have? We still got four things of coffee. Um, we are apparently out of cigarettes. Jeez. Bruno is a hell of a smoker. He just can't stop, can he? All right, well, let's make some more cigarettes to keep him happy. We'll just make the crappy cigarettes. I'm not using the herbs for anything else. And I can grow herbs now, so if I need to get more, I can do that. But I may as well do that to try and keep them all satisfied if I can. Um, I don't have enough food for a whole lot else at this point. Without more vegetables or canned food, this is going to get really difficult. Okay, uh, make a couple more of those. Take a couple hours, but that'll keep Bruno happy. This is going to be tough. I mean, we've got a lot of crafting available, which I like. And so far, I'd say pretty much all of it has been kind of necessary. Uh, using this to get the tools opened up a lot of access to resources. Um, the ability to barricade our house has been amazing, and crafting other workbenches has been necessary. The food is required. Uh, just surviving on raw ingredients I do not think would have been enough. This one would be a lot better if I could just upgrade it. Oh, shoot, no, Bruno, you keep sleeping. You're you're still tired. Zlata, oh, do I need to upgrade this again? I needed a heat lamp. Oh, no, this was the medic's workshop, which would also be nice, but needs a mixer, or electronics components, and some other stuff. It was this one down here, which needed, like, a heat lamp and a bunch of parts and electronic components and... Components, lumber, heat lamp, and electronics. Yeah. God, the ability to grow vegetables would be phenomenal. But that's not going to happen for a while. Okay, uh, well, I don't really think there's a whole lot else I can do at this point. I do want to bust that open, though. Okay, Zlata, I want you to go ahead and just play the guitar, make everybody happy. Katya, why don't you go bust this thing open? I don't need it to remain closed. And in fact, it's really just annoying because it keeps getting in my way. We have a crowbar for a reason. Let's just go ahead and make use of it. Thank you. Okay, because we already boarded up the rest of the house, so, I mean, it's not like we're really... I don't need to worry about the rest of it too much. Hmm. <laughs> Is there anything else in the bios? No. Let's see. Shelter feels almost like home, giving us relief and helping us regain composure. Maybe this should help us figure out anything else. We only have one chair, we have beds, and we sleep in decent conditions. If someone gets sick or wounded, they'll have a place to rest. We've made a radio, and we like listening to it. We've, get a, we've got a guitar, and Zlata can play it really well. Her music cheers us up in these hard times. We're glad to have some books. Reading helps forget the horrors. Staying here provides some comfort in these hard times. Cigarettes consumed per day, three. This is going to last me three days. <laughs> Cups of coffee consumed per day, one. All breaches in our walls have been boarded up. We should be able to repel minor attacks, even if we're all caught sleeping. Well, nah, that's not necessarily true, but thanks anyway. Okay, so... I mean, I could try and make a chair, I guess. I mean, I could, I could build a nicer chair. At least we've got some cigarettes, he says. Yes, yes, we do. You're welcome for that, by the way. Okay, so I could even make a nice chair, if I don't mind giving up some components and lumber. 
It's just if I do, it means I have to get that many more components to build the other stuff, which could be a little more necessary, which is kind of the only reason I've held off on it. I can make another crappy chair. Um, mm, this is a really, really tough call. It's five and five. I'm going to hold off on it for now. This is going to be another one of those things where I'm going to leave, I'm going to scavenge, I'm going to see what we actually need and what we can get, and then I'll worry about it. Okay, I don't think we need to do anything else. It's already 3 p.m. Everybody's hungry, but there's nothing new about that. So let's just go ahead and end the day and see what we're going to do. Okay. What's available to visit at this point? Man, I wish I could go to some of these places that aren't, that are all walled off. I might have to go back to the hotel. Or the supermarket, I don't know. Some food, some meds, some parts. Possible trade. Caution advised. I could go to the construction site, but that one really concerns me. This abandoned construction site of a luxury residential area, which was to become the jewel of Pogoren, now serves the military snipers as a perfect vantage point, making it a dangerous place to visit. You could find some useful things there left by construction workers and rebels who held it for some time before they were driven out. I don't want to go there, though, if I don't have to. God, anywhere labeled danger is somewhere I'm concerned about going to. Uh, why? <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Oh, it is so bad. Mm -mm. I don't really think I have a choice though. Most of these other places have been more or less picked clean. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to do this, but I think I'm going to try going to the shelled school. Rebel militiamen might be willing to trade with us, so we're going to go there and hope for the best. Now, I also hate to say it, but Zlata is probably the least useful. Bruno's got the ability to make meals, which can keep us alive longer. Katya's got the bargaining skills, lots of bolsters spirits, but... Ugh. Alright. You can sleep in the bed, you can guard, you're gonna scavenge, we're going to the shelled school. Can't believe I'm gonna do this! Okay, take two cigarettes and a couple things of coffee. I don't know if I can really get anything out of it, but we're gonna bring them anyway. Um... I'll take the shovel as well, and we're gonna give this a shot! Oh, I'm afraid of this. I don't want someone else to die. But hey, I gotta learn about it one way or another. Heard they had classes when the shelling started. Poor kids. Jesus, no kidding. Is there anybody in here? No. Not yet. Oh, hold on. Stuff? Remember, we want components and lumber. That's not really what I'm after, but it'll maybe be worth it. Wouldn't be right, we're not bandits. What are they talking about? Remember, we're, we are to protect the people, not harm them. Well, that's comforting. What's the other guy say? All right, I understand, don't worry. Okay, let's just keep moving. Good, it's easy to forget that during the war. Oh, shoot. Stop, the school is held by if there's any militia we can trade. Okay. All right. You willing to trade? What do you got? Oh, man. If I can get those vegetables, I will just be thrilled. What can you give me for that? Coffee, cigarettes, 
Won't do try harder electronics. Jesus, what do you need for that? It's one thing of vegetables. And you want all of that. My god, alright. <sighs> yeah, I have to give him almost literally everything. I can keep one cigarette, and he'll give me the vegetables. Alright, you got a deal. Are you gonna get angry at me if I keep looking around? I'm hoping not. Seems like they're kind of okay. They're not, like, directly attacking me, which is nice. I'm just hoping I can get some decent stuff here. Okay, good. We got components, we got lumber. I need more of that, but I'll take what I can get for now. There are a lot of propaganda leaflets. One of them, there's a symbol of a plane symbol and a message. Do not approach international aid drops. It may be dangerous. Report all drops to the nearest militia outpost. Okay, that could be one of two things. It could be a sincere concern about it being a trap dropped by the army guys. Or that could be their way of trying to get people to stay away from the supplies that they want. Gotta try from the other side. Well, I brought the shovel. May as well make some use out of it, I suppose. Could maybe even try going up the other side and see if I can get to anything over there. I don't know what there would be. God, I hope they don't just decide that they don't like me up here. Okay, that's more components. I really feel like I could use the lumber, though. All right, let's grab four more components. We'll leave the last one up there. Then I'm gonna come down here and search for this stuff, and maybe I can find some more lumber. Nope. This is our place, leave. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Run to the exit, just go. Last warning gate. I'm on my way out, I am leaving. I'm not trying to piss you off. I will take what I got. The second I start getting threatened with a gun, I can't lose a survivor, I'm out. Ugh, would have been nice to get more, but I'm not gonna risk Zlata for wood. She is more valuable than two spaces of inventory for wood. Ugh. Found plenty of really fine stuff, what a night. No kidding, you met one guy and he was just like, Stop, we can trade. And then the other guy, get out, this is our place. Someone tried to rob us, must have been more scared than us, who managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we were all armed, no one wounded, attackers didn't steal anything, able to defend ourselves. Awesome. That's what I like to hear. Zlata, you go ahead and rest. You are very hungry, sad, and tired. You go ahead and cook food. Ooh, hold on though, can you upgrade? We can upgrade the kitchen. And we'll still have components and lumber left to burn, so you go ahead and do that first. Katya, is there any way you can make... I'm hoping, maybe? No. We need 11 more components before we can make the stove. God, that's still going? It's been like f three days, almost? Oh good, it's finally ready. As I'm watching it, it decides that it's done. Good. Bruno, what can you make in our new kitchen? Which is apparently as good as it gets. Um, wow, that's... looks exactly the same. Well, make that. I guess it uses less fuel now which is something. Um, go ahead and cook that. And then Katya, I need you to bait that. I don't have anything I can use this with yet, so go ahead and make that. 
Until I have a vegetable garden that's actually going to let me grow something, there's no point in using it, so we'll just do this. Uh, and then Kacha, you can go eat. Bruno, you can also eat. Why are you sad? You're, you're sad a lot, and I got you cigarettes specifically so that you would stop being sad. You still have four of them. So that shouldn't really be a huge problem for you. Brought something that you'll like. Well, we'll see about that in a minute. Um, I'm going to let Katja finish eating, and then I'll have her go see about maybe trading. I know you wouldn't mind another helping, and I'm sorry about that. Um, can you make a single serving? We'll have to make more fuel, but then I can make something for Zlata. Have a look at what I brought. What'd you bring? Uh, well, lumber and parts, components, sugar... Oh, wait, no, it's our stuff. His stuff's over here. What am I talking about? Oh, I want that so badly. Um, I also want a lot of this stuff really badly. What do I have that you might want? Won't do. Try harder. Yeah, no kidding. Um... Ah, tough call. What do I have that I don't need? I could give him the coffee, but that's not worth a whole lot. If I can get the sugar, I could try and make another bandage. Man, sugar's apparently really valuable, though. I mean, I'm not going to get much out of this guy. Not unless I'm willing to trade a lot of stuff that I don't feel like I can afford to trade. So I'm just going to say not interested this time. Hey, I trade with you every time, dude. Sometimes you just want more than I can give. Okay, Bruno, did you make... No, not yet. So you go ahead and make that. Then Zlata can eat. Uh, it's not going to solve our problem of everybody being hungry, but we're doing what we can. Okay, he's tired, so he can go rest. She's fine where she is. I should probably actually go make another filter and then make some more water. Wish it didn't take as many of those components as it does, but the water is a little more important. Okay, now Zlata, you can go eat, because you need to do that. And then you can go fill up the water. Yeah, nobody would mind another helping, but we just don't have the resources for it. Okay, well, I think we are pretty much done for the day. Um, I guess the last thing I could do real quick is check the radio, see what that's looking like. Zlata, I pretty much want you to play the guitar whenever you're not doing anything else. Classical music currently playing. All right, what's this say? Anything different? We're the same it's always been. Uh, prices of cigarettes and tobacco are exceedingly high. Famine and disease reign over the ravaged city of Pogoren. Death takes heavy toll due with no access to food, clean water, and medical supplies. Crap. That's not good. Cool outside with clouds, possible rainfall. But it still hasn't yet. So we need to focus on getting the materials to build that stove, that furnace. But we're all out of time. Uh, I believe the game will save at the end of the day as well. So we'll probably call this an episode and a recording session. And we will have to pick it up right before scavenging at the beginning of the next night. So it's day 17. So we've survived about two and a half weeks, which is pretty good. But we've still got a ways left to go if we're going to make it out. So, fingers crossed for all of our brave survivors. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. 
If you are, please let me know by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down in the section below. And as always, I'll see everyone in the next episode. Catch you guys later.